One. No, one. define one. What do you mean by one? What, what we mean by one is that there's one God in essence and there's three underlying no, realities. define the word one. Like one camera. I'm not asking you to define camera, I'm asking you to define one. Okay, so what would one yes. mean in that example? What, what would one mean? Oh, you would just ask the same question. No. I tell you, you what this. Like, like, literally, one, one is just one and nothing else. No. What do you mean by word one? What does right. it mean? What does one signify? One essence. It, just, it one literally essence. just means, yeah, one essence. It means one in essence. This bro. is one tripod, tripod is right? Yeah, tripod. but that tripod is yeah, made tripod. out of parts, bro. Listen. One, two, three. three. Mm. One tripod, ah, one, two, three. Tripod. There we go, Trinity is summed up. Am I asking you to define a tripod or the word one? Is that don't, don't jump into his hoops, bro. Don't jump into his hoops. Well, I'm asking you, Thomas, like to define or explain what you mean by one. Literally what we mean in mathematics when we say the term one. It just means one thing with nothing just, else. Which is, what is just, one? It just yeah, means, li it literally just means one thing, bro. That doesn't make any sense. You are failing to understand and explain what is one. Okay, explain for us what no, one is. No, I'm not going to explain. Why not? You answered my question already without even understanding what one is. I asked you, do you believe in one God? He says, yes. Good. What is one? But you can literally understand what one no, is just no, from basic no, 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 mathematics. No. Because you don't, that's where the dispute is. What is one? One is just a self-defining word. It's literally anything in reality mean? which isn't other. What does it mean? Yeah, just get a definition of it. Christians, Christians do not understand one. I can tell you that. Okay, show us what so, one is, no, no. bro. Firstly, you tell, tell us, me, bro. you tell me. It had, it's not one. What though. does one it mean? Be one what one means? Means? Uh, JC. Ehad is not one though. What does one mean, Thomas? Show me, show me. Ehad can be like one in like multiple respects. Like one what does one mean? The same yeah, it's literally the lowest cardinal number. This is what I've been it's telling you. Half of half half half. As opposed to two. Yes, yes. So, so what's the difference between one and two? Or zero. It's or literally zero. one and zero. 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 Good. What's the difference between zero, one and two? Let's be consistent. What's the difference between zero, one and two? 1.5, 1.5. <laughs> I gave you three numbers. Yeah, the difference zero, between and zero two. and one so is literally numbers, just plus two. one. The difference between one and two is we just plus one. So just two is more than one. Yes. And zero is less than one. Is that three hands yes. or one hand? Yes. Good. Oh, two right so, hands. Thomas, Ooh. Thomas, I'm not listening to your headless. I'm speaking to you and consulted on you, right? So you don't have to show your face, no problem, because you're. Let, let me ask you: Is wait, Allah wait, wait, absolutely wait, wait, one? Wait, wait, wait. Is Allah wait, absolutely wait, one? Wait. Now, my next question to you to understand. He doesn't want to answer if Allah is absolutely one. Okay, cool. What is the difference? If, is there a difference between two in one and three in one? Yeah, there's a difference because there's three the underlying it's three underlying realities, three subsistent relations which are identical to the one divine essence. Who's talking about God? Yeah. I'm asking you, what is the difference? Bro, between you're clearly Thomas, referring to the Trinity. Thomas. Now tell us, is Thomas, Allah absolutely Thomas, one Thomas. in all senses? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is he absolutely one in all senses? Answer that question. Answer that question. Is there a difference? Answer that question. Yo, answer that Thomas, question. Thomas, well, yeah, he, he, he okay. a man of courage and brilliance. Yeah, I just told you there's so, a distinction wait, wait, between wait, two in one and three in one. Not, now I want you to answer Thomas, this question. Wait, listen, if there's a distinction between the attributes of Allah. Answer Thomas, that question. Thomas, Thomas. I have not gone past understanding what one is. He doesn't want to answer that question because he knows Allah's composite. Uh, is there a difference between two in one and three in one? Ask I just told you, yes, there is. Now, wait, answer wait, this wait, question. Wait, wait, is wait, there wait, a wait, distinction wait, wait, between Allah's what, attributes? What is the difference? So three and one exists, right? No, you can't. So what answer, is the difference, Thomas? Three, 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 three and one exists. Thomas, are you going to let your heckless to stop? He's not heckless. I'm not heckless. So, I'm talking heckless. to him. Wait, Show him some respect. Three and one exists. Show him some respect. So, what is the difference between three and one? Okay, the difference. The difference between three and one and two and one is three underlying realities being identical to one thing and two underlying realities being identical to one thing. Good, good, good. Now I wait, want you to no, answer no. this question. No, yeah. Is Allah's attributes really distinct? Do yes you think, or no? Do you think, do you think, I asked answer you... Answer the question. Answer, answer the question. Hey, Thomas. He answered your question. Do you like, think? I answered your question, you now you're going to answer mine. No. Are Allah's attributes really distinct? Yes, okay. Are they really distinct? Do you really think? Are Allah's attributes really distinct? I answered your question, now I want you to answer mine. Yeah, and the conversation is two ways. I've answered yours, now you're going to answer my questions. I have not gone past understanding Okay, what the I'm reason not why Mansoor doesn't want to answer the question is because he knows if there's a distinction between the attributes of Allah, then Allah is made up of parts. A part is just something which is less than the whole of a thing. 
if Allah's attributes are less than the whole of Allah, Allah is made out of parts and things which are made out of parts are metaphysically composite and metaphysically composite things are caused. So Mansour believes that God is caused. So Mansour, engage with the topic. Engage with the question that I've just given you. You've lost your chance. Forfeited. Bro, right. I, I yes, just answered right. your question. Monologue. Now you're going to answer right. mine. Wait, wait. No one forfeit, bro. So I'll give you a chance. You're forfeiting. You're running, bro. That he's running away. You're literally running away. Don't run away. Don't run away. Answer the argument. Answer the question. Answer the question. So the reason why he doesn't want to answer the question is because if Allah's attributes are distinct, then he's composite metaphysically. For example, if I say that Superman has the attribute of strength, Superman has the attribute of laser eyes, laser vision, these things are less than the whole of Superman. So he's metaphysically composite. He doesn't want to admit that his God is metaphysically composite. Thomas, listen to me now. Okay, reason, I've answered your question, answer mine. Answer, answer, answer the question. Answer, 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 answer the question. syllogism that I just gave you. Are you going to listen? Okay, I'll, I'll listen, listen to the, you, you answering listen? the syllogism answer that I just gave you. Stop Go. Then. Listen. Okay. Go ahead. The reason why I asked the difference I'll between I'll answer the answer the two and three and one, two and one and three and one, there was a reason. Did you ask why? I will tell you why. Okay, tell us so, why. So, just like, just like... Is there a reason why you're not answering my question as well, by the way? Your question will come and the answer will come oh, to Okay, cool. Wait, wait, I'll, wait. I'll wait. I'll wait for it. We'll wait. wait. We will wait. wait. We'll wait. The reason I asked you to My differentiate problem. between the three in one and the two in one well. is because... Can I ask the question I'm to understand the last result. Something. Yeah, so on this point. The two in one, are these two... The two in one exist then? So you're saying two in one and three in one. Conceptually... So conceptually, conceptually, even your argument is saying three and one exists because you're comparing it to two and one. Oh. Conceptually, anything yeah, that is three in one... And listen... Anything that is two in one, the question is, are they the same? And you are happily you comparing two things that exist. What about ninety nine and one? You're not ninety nine and one. You're not listening. Oh. I said thirteen and one. Conceptually, three in one and two in one is not the same as you answered. So that's very good. Are they so you are real things that are different or fake things that are different? Listen, listen. I'm not asking about real and fake. I'm saying conceptually. No, but we I know. Can, wait. No, we stand three and one. If you believe listen, three and one is real, right. and listen you're comparing me. it to two right. and one, that's the real. thing is, he believes in multiple when things in one. Says, he no, believes no, God has multiple understand. attributes no, 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 in the no, one. He really believes that Allah is metaphysically When yeah. Yeah. someone says, he's not going to answer three yeah. in one. Hey, I love Muslims by the way, and I want Muslims to give their life to Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 He wants to save you Don't from your sins. He as much as he loves us, he loves you. The way, the way, the way you can make any any step forward is when you behave logically, coherently, and reasonably. So that's why we're trying to understand this. Wait, wait, say that. Say that again. Wait, wait, wait. He said behave logically. My goodness. What's the second one? Coherently. Two. And reasonably. Three and one. Hey! Hey! Wait, hold on, hold on. So, wait, what is the wait? I just, so I just want to clarify something. So because wait, three what is the distinction between those three statements? Thomas. Like what okay. yeah. Yeah. No, 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 yeah. So there I'm, is I'm a confused. difference between three in one and two in one. Yeah, I'm telling you there's a difference good, between good, that. Good. Now what is the difference between one and two in one? Bro, is it's there a literally just one more underlying reality. That's is it the same? No. Excellent. So, so far, listen all well, carefully. Respect, Thomas, well. listen carefully now because you have affirmed very carefully with your answers. Well, the one wait, isn't the same, wait, but the two is Thomas. the same. It's distinct, yeah. One is not the same as two in one. Two in one is not the same as three in one. Okay, okay let's put there, it this way. I am not finished. Jesus is identical. Okay, am, finish, am, finish. I'm going to ask you now. Is one the same as three in one? Is one the same as yes. three in one? Yes, yes. Behold the Lord of God of Israel. Oh my yeah. God. Because yeah, the one, if we're saying the one is God, one. and Jesus well, the Father and the Holy Spirit are identical to the one God, God then it can be identical. Thomas, be apt, reasonably, coherently, sensibly, free right? and one. Okay, Thomas, you're going to have to Intellectually, I will act like free and one. Intellectually and civilized as well. Five in one. Good. So, okay, what is the difference between those five terms? Is one same as three in one? Is one the same as three in one? It depends with what respect in you're using ways, the term though, one. Different ways. If look, you're look, using look, the term I'm one saying, in the same sense as you're saying three in one, if that is the one that you're referring to, then that one is going to be identical to those three things. 
That's what it's going to be. Fine. Now I want to when, ask. When, now no, I want to no, 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 answer on my no, argument against you. Will you will have the opportunity yeah, yeah. to answer. Okay, ask, okay, I'm because I've been no waiting. I've been waiting for the answer. Yeah. Be patient. Yeah. Okay, I've been, I've been waiting like for minutes. you to tell you us why to God is composite. More patient, right? To be fair, we are giving you a very big platform. Good. So now, the reason why that you haven't yet answered. Yeah, yeah, you haven't answered my question. Can two in one? Can can two in one ever be three in one? Two in one is not the same as three in one. Can it ever be the same? Can it ever be the same? Hard. In it's any really circumstance. Hard. It's only going to be the same as the one thing it's identical to. But the two and the three in one aren't going to be the same thing. Because in one sense you're going to have three underlying realities. Can two in one ever be the same as three in one? I just, I just gave you an explanation. Which is? The explanation is, is that the thing that those two things are identical to is going to be the same thing in that sense that the three things are identical to. The difference is, is just that there's one more thing which is identical to that one. So we're saying that the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit are identical to the one God. We are not talking about God. Bro, you're clearly insinuating the Trinity. We will go to understand Trinity in a bit, later. Okay, after we talk about Allah being composite. Because you firstly, the reason why I say this, I say this from experience. I've spoken to Christians, many Christians, maybe even before you were born, I've spoken to them. That is not an argument. That is not an argument. But that shows my experience. Okay, okay. We, okay. we don't care about your experience, we care about the argument. So let's look at the argument. We don't care about masks or experience, we care about arguments, we care about logic. My experience tells me Christians do not understand things like one, two, three, and they don't understand the numbers. We do, we understand identity statements. So now you are saying, you are saying, two in one can be three in one. No, that's not what I said. If everyone listened to what I said, the thing that those two things are identical to, which is the one, it's going to be the same thing that those three things in the other example are identical to, which is the one that's exactly. But the two is not the same well, as the three question, because that would be three the, things well, identical to one thing. Like so saying, there are two I different senses, multiple the rules for the classical. For all of A equals A. Yeah. yeah. So oh, you have oh, reflexivity. Okay. You have reflexivity, which is just A equals A. You have symmetry, which is just if A equals B, then B equals A. You have transitivity, which is what you're going to get at because you're a Muslim metaphysician fanboy. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Transitivity you're gonna is transitivity a. Or you're gonna uh, go into well, we're going to we're going to show wait, you wait, we're going to show you metaphysically wait, why wait, wait, wait. why there are opaque wait, contexts. This, this is important. Exist. Okay, you obviously understand that transitivity is an inference rule, correct? Mate, simple. He doesn't you're know what you're talking about. No, 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 no. I know what an inference okay, yeah. is. Okay, yeah. Is it an, it's an inference rule? It, I'm not being condescending. You can't even see the emotion on my face. Oh. I'm uh, asking is, you this. I don't need to. So, <laughs> when we off. talk about transitivity, yeah, because you said I'm being condescending, which would uh, if you're emotion. So, again, if you're asking about transitivity, we all know, as well as he and me and, and all of us here, it's an inference rule. Right. Now, there are certain cases that we know in semantics and semiotics where inference rules don't carry over. For example, when opaque contexts are created. I'm sure you know this as well. Explain. An opaque, do you know what an opaque context is? Explain. No, I'm asking you if you know. know. They, they, they don't know. I'm Just asking you if you know so I can know how much to go into. I don't know. Go, go and explain. Okay, that's fine. So an opaque context would literally just be a situation in which the truth value of something wouldn't be carried over by transitivity salva veritate. Can you say that again? So basically when the truth value of one proposition won't carry over to another one, keeping the same truth value salva veritate. Mm. What do you mean by the last statement? Salva veritate. Yeah. Yeah, oh, um, sorry, sorry. Yeah, it's Latin, right. It just basically means without the truth being hindered. Basically, mm -hmm. for example, if I said, so actually, basically what's going on is that we understand that in transitivity, there are some cases which don't violate classical mm -hmm. identity. It's just the way that semiotics works. There are certain cases where transitivity doesn't apply as a valid inference rule in this case. For example, when there are opposing relations. Right. So for, for example, example, yeah, yeah, okay, I'll give you an example. I'll give you an example. Fine, fine. Okay, you give so, the example. That's it. I don't think that's it. So for example, like let's say Lois Lane knows that Superman can fly, right? Lois Lane knows, knows that Superman. Superman can fly. We're all familiar with the Superman franchise, mm, right? I like it. It's yep. a pretty good comment. Cool. Premise one, Lois Lane knows that Here. Superman can fly. Mm -hmm. Premise two, Superman is identical to Clark Kent. Therefore, conclusion, Lois Lane knows that Clark Kent can fly. Okay. Obviously, the conclusion doesn't follow because Lois Lane does not know that Clark Kent specifically mm. can fly because she has two different opaque contexts. The opaque context is created because there is a specific term, which is Lois Lane knows. That does not carry over in truth value. The truth value of proposition one does not carry over to proposition three. Just stop there to explain. Yes. Yeah, so are you saying when Lois, Lois Lane says, 
clock can fly, is clock can the human side of things or the, the supernatural side of things who can fly? Superman, Superman is fly. always supernatural. Oh, oh. Just... Hmm? So supernatural. So, so, so Superman. Are they identical? And Superman, oh, so Superman and Clark Kent. Yeah. Are they they're identical. identical. Right, that's fine. Yeah. They're nominally distinct. That's fine. No, no, no. What, what? How are they're they nominal, They're nominally distinct. No, no. Explain how are they identical. In an absolute sense. In an absolute sense. Yeah. In a relative sense, they're not identical. So no, I wouldn't. No, say they are sense. identical. It's like the if you put is, on a cake. Hold on, hold on. The problem is, is this, right? The entire statement contains truth value. The truth value is the entire statement. I.e., Lois Lane knows Superman can fly. Okay. You are dealing with the issue of Superman. We all agree Lois Lane knows that Superman can fly. However, we all agree also that she doesn't know Clark Kent can. That doesn't violate identity. It's just that transitivity doesn't work here because of an opaque context. So, you so, have people so, so she on. can't not say, or she doesn't know that Clark can fly. No, no, as in, as in the specific truth state, like the statement I'm itself saying, is in false. In that statement, the statement she doesn't know Clark can fly. Yeah, she doesn't know the person known as Clark can fly. Okay. The reason because she doesn't know Clark Kent is Superman. Pardon? Because she doesn't know Clark Kent is Superman. That's Superman is Clark Kent. Yeah, that's because the opaque context creates that. Exactly. So, for yeah. example, yeah, yeah we, we truth, agree with that. Truth statement in reality. She doesn't know Clark Kent is Superman or Superman yeah, is but, Clark Kent. Okay, but what we're doing yeah. with the truth statement is we're isolating, right, specifically down to the actual truth value itself. It, I, could, I, could, I could boil it down to, for no, example... I've understood an example. No, I could, reason, no, we can boil it down to this. The reason why she doesn't know... The reason why you're know, doing that is trying to add on certain context to change the actual statement to itself. No, I'm yes, simply absolutely. saying, when you say someone knows about someone, yeah. you're talking about she doesn't know that they're equivalent. That's right, true. right. So then, that, the so then that means... So wait, matter. but it doesn't matter because equivalency has to carry over. Transitivity no, no. dictates she that it has to carry know. over. Yes, she and doesn't that's the, the opaque context. That's the point he's making. That's the opaque context that's created. You, you, and you understand that as well. You don't understand my wait, point. Does transitivity I'm carry saying, over? Wait, there's a bee on your face. I am saying. Does transitivity <laughs> carry over in premise two? That's what, that's what I'm asking. I'm saying. Yeah, go on. It's not about whether Clark Kent is Superman or not. It's about her knowledge of Clark Kent and Superman mm -hmm. being the same. That's what the opaque context is. Wait, wait. wait. The Clark question is not about same. Clark Kent. The point, no, the point is, is Clark Kent and Superman are the same thing. Let him finish. Let him finish. finish. Here, in reality, we want to know in the truth value of whether Clark Kent is Superman or not. Wait, not about whether she knows some truth value. We're talking. Okay, so well, truth value has nothing. Hold on. Hold on. Truth value is, has nothing to do specifically with whether the information is sound. It's specifically on whether the information is valid. We are looking at the actual we, statements themselves. We are so saying, the statement, we are hold on, saying, hold on. So wait, wait, statement, you hold on and let me speak. Fine, I'm, I'm continuing. So the statement, for example, yeah, it's fine. So the no, statement, see how half the audience is Are you trying to convince yourself? Hold on, it's not about convincing myself. Then let me, let I'm let literally going to continue what I'm saying. You, Calm down. So, no, no, wait, wait. it's okay, it's okay. Calm down, I'm going to finish. What is my okay. objection? What so, is my objection? when it comes to... No, what is my objection? Your objection, actually, I wouldn't say that you've made an objection. I would say that you're trying to create one on the spot. I'm going to finish though. Which is? I don't know which one it is, but I'm saying you're trying to create one on the spot. Because you don't know. Hold on, hold on. Even what we're trying to say, he oh, hasn't created one yet. That's what I'm saying. So, yeah. so understand am, my statement, right? This. What would his objection be then? Mate, he has to just repeat the objection. No, no, I'm asking what his objection would be. I'm not saying that he's made an objection. Area. He said you're Hold focusing on, on Lewis he's not knowledge, but yeah. that's not the point he's But making. the knowledge that I'm making is that opaque so context can be created. That's fine. Well, you're the so one that brought up the transitivity argument. Yeah, right. So specifically the point that I'm making, and I'm clarifying, hold on, I'm going to clarify the actual issue that's at hand here, which is that opaque context don't violate transitivity. So. And I think you will agree with this, right? Opaque contexts will be created depending on the certain terms that we are using. So, in premise one, the entire statement is true. That Lois Lane knows that Clark Kent, sorry, not Clark Kent, that Superman can fly, okay? That statement is a true statement. I think no one's gonna disagree there. The opaque context is created in premise three because the truth value is harmed. It doesn't carry over salva veritate, as we agree. Now, the reason why you said it doesn't carry over is because she is not aware that Superman and Clark Kent is the same person. But that wouldn't matter because premise two would still be true regardless if Lois Lane knew that information. The actual debate here is not on whether Lois Lane knows those things, so but on whether the truth, but oh, that Superman again? is Clark Kent. Right, so that means that the truth value itself is what we're talking about here. Not on whether Lois Lane bears in some reference to the truth value itself. Now, the only time she bears okay. in reference, I'm just going to continue. Look, a pause in a sentence doesn't mean that I'm done. Excuse me? A pause in a sentence doesn't mean I'm done. That's Are what I'm done? referring okay. Of course Finish not. Your... Go ahead. I'm finishing my Go statement, ahead. right? I think we'll all agree that the actual notion that we're talking about is the identity of Superman and Clark Kent. That would still carry over regardless if Lois Lane knows that or not. That's what you need to contend with. So you need to argue that in order for this statement to lead to its false conclusion, you need to argue that Lois Lane has to know premise two. What Go was on. my objection that I was trying to make? The objection? No, just say it. Just say no we're clarifying the statement. In fact, in fact, no, 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 no. I'm, I'm so, listen, listen, listen. What's your name? I'm so, Sig. My, Sig. Yeah, Sig. 
S I I I G. Follow me on Twitch. Anyways, so. <laughs> I had to do it. I had to do it. Georgina doesn't know. Georgina? Yeah, seriously, man, it's the same example. Wait, what? That's not the same example. Yeah, come, 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 come. Yeah. But because Georgina doesn't know. Georgina doesn't know what? So, but it's still the same thing. Wait, Georgina doesn't know what? I'm talking about in life. Yeah, I know. Georgina doesn't know what? That he's a footballer. Georgina knows that Cristiano plays football. If she doesn't know, does it change that he's a footballer? You're saying that you're talking about a situation it's a, it's a, in reality, right? And the point is actually very true. It wouldn't matter whether she knew or not, but the truth value would still be harmed in premise three because knowledge is part of that truth value. Sick, are you finished? Yeah, I'm done. All you're trying to understand from this or explain to us Muslims is Jesus is God, God the Father, and God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Oh, we're talking about transitivity. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, continue. Let's go. go back. Go back to before go, go, transitivity? Go, go, go back to the examples I gave you about two in one and three. Oh, wait, wait, hold on. Wait, that's fine, that's fine. Okay, so. No, no, no. I think it's fair that he should be able to go back to his example. One in one and three. But the only thing I would like is that he doesn't bring up transitivity again. We didn't even get to get to identity, we, we just which is the point. Identity. We addressed identity with transitivity. No, no, no. We just addressed no, no, no. it. Just we just literally it, just I addressed it. I just asked you a question. I didn't get to say what well, I, I think. Okay. I did. Oh, then say what you think. Everything from one thing is true is also true of thing B. You have thing A and thing B. Now, you can't say that everything that is true for the ah, point of information. is all true. Oh, sorry, sorry, continue. Every, yeah, because I yeah. thought you were going to say everything what was that I gonna is true say? of the fault. No. Because I, I can do what he did. Mate. Yeah, it's all gone. You're doing what you're doing. Right? Yeah, sorry, you're doing what you're doing. Is that when you're, you're saying identity, yeah? Everything that's true of A also has to be true of B for them to be identical. Except A classical, itself. Except, that's classical identity. So the point is, you can't, everything that you say. Wait, that's not classic identity. No, 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 no. That's Leibniz's law. That's not classic identity. That's Leibniz's law. Whoa! Leibniz's law of classical identity. No, Leibniz's law explicates that it's not identical to classic identity. Classic identity is for all of A, A equals A. Leibniz's law is going to talk about something different. You just mix two logical laws together. You just mix them two together. One implies the other. We agree. But they're not the same thing. The law of identity is for all of A, A. You know what, for somebody who is talking about you yeah, know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. It's fine. You can insult me. I really don't I care. But T key to the content. True of the father is not also true of the Okay, son. is that it's the law of identity or is that Leibniz's people. law? It's Leibniz's law. Okay, so you accept okay. that that's not the law of identity then? Listen, no problem. Mislip. Right, so it's a mistake. Part and parcel. Fantastic. Part and parcel. Yeah, part and parcel. So it's okay. I, mean, I said that it's part and parcel. I told you. Yeah. You don't need to say it's semantics. Point is, semantics is one of the studies of truth. Elite theology, you know this. Everything that's true of the father is not true of the son. That's That was my objection. Yeah, that's fine. Go on. But that's okay if an opaque context is created, which is why transitivity doesn't carry my next over. Question to you now. You don't know wait, what wait, you don't wait, know what opaque context is. We've answered all your questions now. And that's the reason why you're not speaking anymore. Because you don't know what an opaque context is. He wanted to butt into him. You and I are speaking. It's okay. My friend. Then we can go over there and we can still speak. That's fine, no problem. We can go over there. Father is not identical to There you go. Comment in between those two. I'm I'm completely focused. I'm completely focused. This is yeah, because one, we can apply an opaque context to right. laws of transitivity and there are actually examples in reality where, where transitive law concept. doesn't apply. Yeah. For example, St. Thomas Aquinas brings up from Aristotle this example. See that bottle over there? Motion has two formal aspects, passion and action. Passion is something being moved by another and action is me moving something. So action and the passion. Same, the oh, same sorry. motion can be the action and passion of the can be identical to the same motion whilst being formally distinct. For example, if you pick that bottle up over there off the ground, yeah. the passion of the bottle being, being picked, picked up is, is identical to, to, to the, the same motion, motion yeah. as the action of it being picked up. Yet there's a formal distinction there. Between those so two. we even have in reality times when transitive law does not carry over because opaque contexts so are created. According to what you just said, yeah. the father. In some way, it's not identical to the sun. That's your belief. They have distinct opposed. They have distinct relations. Yeah. Relations. That's what so they're asked. distinct underlying realities. The father is not. You're saying that the person of the father is the not father, identical to the person of the son. Does the father know that he's the son? Wait, hold on. Uh, okay, wait, wait, okay. wait. Oh my god. Oh my they goodness. did it. They did it. They're doing they did it. They did it. Oh my god. Oh. Yes, okay, great. This is this is fantastic. Okay, okay. okay. Yeah. So That's obviously, enough. right, so you understand what indexicality is, right? I'm asking you the simple question. Yeah, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Is the yeah. Does the father know he's the I son? have a completely different view of knowledge than you. Hmm? I have a completely different view of knowledge. Tell me what your belief is. I don't believe knowledge is truth propositions, necessarily. What does it mean? So, for example, right, and, and I'm going to give you an example. Let's just apply it to God in general. Yeah, and yeah. I want to see what you're going to say about this so that sure. we can conversate, right? So. Do you hold to, when you talk about God's knowledge, that God just has knowledge of every true proposition? Ask me, what is knowledge first? Yeah, God? yeah, fine, fine. 
I would say that knowledge would be simply the action of the intellect. Now, I will define what knowledge explain, will be in this. Explain yeah. action of the intellect. Yeah, yeah exactly. So when you talk about God's whoa, knowledge... Whoa, wait, wait. It's, it's I'm, I'm going to ask a question, man. It's all right. You're doing well. Listen. So when I'm, I'm asking to, you to clarify. Hey, you're, you're, you're doing well. You're doing well. You're doing well. Is I'm going to finish. Is it difficult? <laughs> Absolutely. Yes. It's, it's so difficult. So, yes. So, so if someone wants to clarify yeah, yeah, yeah. a question so they don't waffle, it's not difficult. Hey, hey, hey. It's, focus on it. I said it's so Go difficult ahead. that it's now somehow easy. So I'm going to finish. Go ahead. If he's okay with that. So when it comes to what I'm saying, right? Knowledge or intellect is simply to possess the form of a thing without becoming the form mm. itself. That's what I believe because I'm a hylomorphist. Now I, I'm sure I you know, know that. that means. You don't know what hylomorphism no. is, right? Right. So how familiar are you with like Aristotle's form matter composition? I'm are you familiar with it at all? Brother, I'm just see, asking. I'm five. Simply, you're simply, not five though. No, I'm not, simply, you're not five. Mentally, I am. Mentally, so you identify as five years old? Yes. Explain. Nice. So you're you're five years old from now on. So, Sorry. Cool. So I don't speak five years old. You don't. You don't need. You don't need to. You don't. You don't need to. That's kind of fair though. That's kind of fair. Sick, uh, sick. Yeah, what's up? Sick. I'm right here, let's go. Cool. You're doing what? Knowledge of God. Yeah. Yeah. Tell me yeah. what it means. Yeah, it would just be to possess the form of different things in reality without becoming those forms themselves. Possess what? To possess the forms. So What does it mean possess the forms? Yeah, yeah. So the form would be the individuation of certain matter. So what for does example it mean individuation. Individuation. Yeah. You're using so, all these jargons and I'm sure even Whoa, 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 do you want me right, to tell you right. what individuation is? Right, yeah, right, cool, cool, cool. That's okay. You did the same okay, thing. Okay. You, did right, you did basket analogies and thought you were comparing it to maths. So, when you talk about individuation, it's going to be just simply a distinct, sorry, a distinction in some way. So, a lack of identity to some degree that allows for the matter to be particularized. So, now you have a particular instantiation of matter, as Aristotle says, as Alexander Aphrodisia says as well, if you know that. So, are you saying something? No, you're just, it's always fun. I thought you were going to say that because you opened your mouth, it's fine. So, I'm speaking. Yeah, I know, I know. Oh, hey, 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 guys. Cut that out. It's okay, it's okay. It's okay. I mean, I understand that I'm very annoying, but come on. Say, say, carry on. Yeah, it's all right, man. So, so, as I was saying, right, when it comes to knowledge, now I've basically given you like a basic definition. I can now return to the question. You're explaining. I gave you a basic definition. Knowledge of God is to have understanding of forms. Forms is about individuation. I, I didn't say that. I didn't say understanding of forms. You're using that. It's what, possessing the, it's form, possessing the form of a thing. It's possessing the forms. I'll give you an forms example. Forms is about individuations, right? Particularization. So particularization specifically of matter. But I can give you an example to see how we use form possession. If you don't mind, could I use a water bottle? Is that okay? You can't, but you can point to it. Yeah, it's fine. Just just like lift it up oh, so okay. that I, can, I like my phone. Yeah. Right, cool. Yeah, go ahead. So. When you look at this bottle... Not me, God's knowledge. So tell me, does God have knowledge about this? Okay, if He's we can't solve example. knowledge for people, how would you get to knowledge for God? Uh, now you understand, Sig, when I was explaining about human beings and so on, and yeah. you went directly into God, that's why the analogy we ask you about one, two... When did three, I go directly into God? Your friend did. Okay, your friend did. Not me, though. Not, not me, your but friend, him. Great, 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 great. Absolutely not me, right. not me. Absolutely. Your Absolutely. So next time... Well, who are you talking to? Tell him next time. You're talking to me. Yeah, exactly. You're talking to me. So you, you're irrelevant. Right, right. He's irrelevant. So, so talk to me. Carry on. He's not irrelevant. You're just not talking to him. So talking to me. He's talking to me. Carry on. So that's right. You're doing well. So when it comes to knowledge, right, we need to have a correct theory of knowledge on a temporal level so that we can go to an atemporal level. So when I asked you specifically for knowledge you explain. in itself, ask, explain. no, no, you're saying does the father know the same thing as the son? Mm -hmm. Right. So that means you have an understanding of what knowledge is. I do. So what does knowledge mean? Because when I under, when I ex, un, ex, when I asked you that question, what does knowledge said, mean though? Yeah, wait, yeah, yeah, it's fine. Wait. Yeah, just sick. define what knowledge is. Let Give me a second. Sick. Yeah, yeah go on. relax. I'm very relaxed. I'm just fixing my mask. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah go on. So you said I have a different understanding of knowledge. Didn't yeah, you absolutely. Say that? Yeah. Good. So we need to understand what you mean by knowledge because everyone else seems to have a general understanding of knowledge. Is. Do you need to go and understand all of that jargon to know what knowledge is? No. Really. Technically, if you but want you, to have like a good understanding, but, but, but again, but, 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 so wait, wait, you are asking the question, the so because, what does knowledge mean? Because you have a particularized understanding of what knowledge is, so tell me now, when God has knowledge of things, what do you mean by that? It wouldn't actually be on me to prove that, it would be on you to define your own term. Because no, no, you you're asking the question. Because you're asking you the question. You said you have a different understanding of knowledge. Yes, absolutely. However, in, in how, however, how, however, 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 your I'm question, now, your, your say, question is reliant on the say, fact that I'm you speaking. have an understanding of say, knowledge. I'm speaking. So now I'm very calm. I'm so now speaking. I'm asking the I'm question, what does knowledge mean? I'm not finished. I'm just asking what knowledge I'm means. I'm not finished. Absolutely. But just answer that question when I you can, then it's fine. I'm not finished. Oh, so you're going to finish and say so, what knowledge means? So, so now look You're going to say what knowledge means, right? You, I'm very looked. Thank you. What does knowledge mean? Say, 
Come on, Mansoor. What does knowledge mean? When you want to speak, yep. do you expect me to listen? Speak is cool. I Let's just get. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. When I when I speak, I expect you to listen to the degree of whether there are points Good. of information so that need to be clarified. Speaking, and you just proved my point again. So, thanks for interrupting me, even though you were complaining. I'm asking you now. What does knowledge mean? Sir. Just answer that question. Sir. We're all waiting for it. I'm uh, we'll wait, we'll wait, we'll wait, we'll wait, we'll wait. We'll be there waiting. 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 I'm simply asking. Yeah, yeah. What does knowledge mean? Knowledge? Yep. Okay. My not understanding of knowledge would be like, let me give you a simple, basic understanding of knowledge. Yeah, to be aware of things. To be aware. What is awareness? What do you have knowledge of? Now you're gonna say it's a tautological. That's I'm gonna say that it's circular. You're gonna have to prove it's a tautology. Right. No, no, no. So if I, so if I now say awareness means having something, and you're gonna say what does something means, right? No, I'll just, I'll just say it. So, no, so no, can no, we no. apply it in so, a universal so level? What is knowledge? Do you have a, so you said you, knowledge wait, is awareness. Wait, no, okay, no, 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 no. We can no, no. run oh, with that. Wait, it's wait. fine. Do you want to definition of knowledge? Okay, so one. okay, I'll so you're gonna use no, like no, no. a colloquial definition of knowledge in a theological discussion. No, let me use it. No, let me use it. Let me use it. We'll come up when he uses proposition logic. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's calm, it's calm, it's calm. Sick. Yo, what's up? What's up, man? So what's up? Um, are you listening? Absolutely. I'm actually just fixing my clothes. So, um, you can do that. Absolutely. That's great. And I'm and I'm glad you're great. So you use the term of knowledge as awareness. It's actually my turn. So I'm when it comes speaking. to, I know, you asked me a question. in my turn. So, you asked me a question. And you answered, answering, which was, no, you answered. You said, what did I you said you that knowledge is to be aware of things. Okay. Right. Absolutely. So, do you disagree? Pardon? Do you disagree? We're going to see if it entails certain no, things. No, do you disagree? Not yet. We're going to see if it entails no, 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 certain no, no, things. No, 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 no. Do you disagree? I don't disagree with the definition until there are certain entailments of the definition. Fine. So, now so now, wait, wait. Hold wait, on. Now, we no, need no, to explore no, the entailments. So, the the so now you're talking to That's, him. Thank you so much. No, so now we're going to talk about the entailments. Oh, hey, Mansoor, you can say my name if you like. It's all right. Cool. So when it comes to knowledge, okay, we can just use this. Let's say that there is a unipersonal deity. Let's assume that for the case to see whether your definition works. What does it mean, works. universal deity? A, uh, a deity that is only one underlying reality. There you go. Um, what so, does it mean, one underlying reality? Um, we can say an individuation. One individuation. Okay. So one deity means one individuation of the no, deity. No, I said, I said one unipersonal deity. Because there are theories that say that there is one deity that is multipersonal. For example, the Trinitarians. And for example, when you say that there are multiple so real distinct so you're now saying, attributes. Oh. So now, he does say that. He says that. He says that. What, what, what do I say? You say that there are real distinct uncreated eternal attributes. Wait, wait. What do I say about what? You say that about your God, there are real distinct, distinct uncreated, uncreated eternal attributes. attributes. Do you yeah. say this? In one sense, I do. I'll tell you why, what I mean by that. Yeah, what do you mean by that? The attributes do not subsist by themselves. They don't subsist. They're always in relation to what we say the creator god okay god is described by his attributes because god is eternal with no beginning his attributes are also eternal description are of the, are those attributes right? Allah? Wait, wait, wait. They, they, no, no, you know what you're, you're, not, you're, i apologize you're, you're not concrete particulars pardon they're not concrete particulars concrete so particulars they are so they're, they're, they're abstract so they're abstracted yeah in other words, for instance when we say that god has attributes we don't say that these attributes exist distinctly that's that's not an example that's the claim remember that right that is what we no, that's the claim that's exactly that's, that's what that's the claim that's, that's not an, you said for example so that's not an example that's a claim no okay but I'm, I'm clarifying the, the, the example. I'm, I'm clarifying, You're clarifying the, the claim. Right? You're clarifying so, the claim, so, not the so example. Is, is it okay for me it, it to clarify the claim? Absolutely. Is that okay? Oh, yeah, give another example that's not the claim. Yeah. But the, 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 the claim that's how you give examples, the, the right? Claim is what? The claim is that they are not part of concrete particulars, that they are abstracted. Particulars. So the example here is in order to give something more concrete, if you will, yeah. that God's knowledge, for instance, isn't something that exists distinct from himself. It is a sine qua non of God. It's a sorry, what? So you say the word again. Sine qua non. I mean, sine qua non. A sine qua non. I don't know exactly what that means. You should do because. You I actually don't. I'm not knowledgeable. You, you, you were. You were, you were, you were I'm, I'm, not, I'm not knowledgeable in any it sense. Not, it doesn't matter. Basic philosophical. Probably it is. In what school? In what school? In any school. In any school, yeah, right. Okay, so show me in the Aristotelian school where it says it. part yeah, go on. of that being. Oh, sorry, an essential part. Yeah, yeah, sorry. My bad, I apologize. Sorry, sorry. My Latin's very rusty. You're making me look old here, you know what I mean? And you're making me look like a child here. It's great. It's crazy, you know what I'm trying to say? We're going to find a balance. Yeah, we're going to find a balance. Just give me like 20 years of age and we're good. No, no, no. My age is too precious. Ah, come on, come on. Wisdom comes with that as well. Absolutely. As well as humility, right? Comes with my youngness. Yeah, putting aside the banter. True, yeah, let's go. When we talk about God's attributes, we don't say that God's attributes exist distinct from himself. Because I know some Christians and some other people tend to make that claim that when we Muslims say that God has 99 attributes, that there are somehow 99 gods. We That's don't say that, do Christians we? Christians understand. No, but you say they're so, distinct wait, from hold on, each hold on, other. Hold on. Though, it's, right? it's very they're important. distinct from each other in exactly. an abstract way, go. not in a concrete way. 
Okay, so words, what does it mean okay, to... for instance, for us to understand that knowledge is not the same as wisdom. In God? Wisdom, All right. In God. But in God, are those two things identical? They're not identical. Okay. okay. So then yeah, in the reality... So this is important, right? When you mention abstracta, you are just talking yep. about a purely logical or mental distinction in the mind. Yes. On the part of the reason, reason, yes. of course, right? Yep. But abstracta would not be applied here, would not be applicable here, yep. if the distinction also exists in reality. What do you mean by reality? That which is wait what you don't know what do I mean by reality? What do you mean by reality? I what mean, mean by reality? I'm talking about reality. Yeah. We're I mean reality. About, we're yeah, yeah, that, yeah, reality, yeah. Right? That, that which really exists. But yeah, the, so, the so, problem so, is this though. So you say you more, say you they, say that they're abstract they, though. Hold on, hold on. I'm still speaking. So, it's fine. No, no. I'm, I'm trying to clarify what you mean by yeah, by reality. real, by real. So reality, right, well. they can't be anything more real. Oh, yeah, than God, yeah. Right? By real, you could just say a positive or more real than God. Pardon? Can there be anything more real than God? No, because God is existence itself. Exactly. So when right. we talk about God... But you don't believe that. You, you literally believe that there is existence as well as he, knowledge he and power. Him no, exactly, no, no, no. right. He's, He's, making, a point, though, He's he making a point. He's making a point. that I'm, I'm here to defend. Right, and the <laughs> accusation would be but, that. But the, the point, the point is, is, though, right. The reality of God is the greatest reality. Anything other than that is essentially... Uh, not as good. Huh? Not as good. You're going to say not as good. Not as good. Not as real. It's subordinate too, that's the word I'm uh, saying. It's subordinate It too. participates so in. Words, it, yeah, you could say it participates in, in right, a conceptual right. sense, right? Well, in a conceptual not sense. Not in a concrete sense itself. In other words, it, does, it isn't something that exists merely in the mind. Okay, so, so then about, would so God be a finish, concrete particular then? I'm going there. That's yeah, exactly that's exactly where we're going, yeah. So when we talk about God, we talk about God oh, as God. something. Sorry, sorry, sorry. We talk about God's attributes, because oh. that's what we're talking about, right? Yeah, yeah. We talk about God's attributes, we are talking about God's attributes not as something that exists distinct from himself. Like, for instance, you exist distinct from me, even though you're human. That's just a real right? distinction. Yeah, whatever you want to call it. Real no, distinction. No, no, that, that's a major real distinction. So, that's for example, yeah, I know it's the real. bottle I know is a major. You're real. No, 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 no. no, no, no. You're, you're, you're misunderstanding what I mean by major real distinction. It's fine. There's just certain scholastic terms that I just have to clarify for the conversation. Clarify for yourself? For the Thank conversation. You. Because okay, I know the I term. Right, so you know what a real distinction is? Uh, well, real That's why I'm trying to help you, I'm trying to define it for you. Okay. Yeah. Okay, go on, go on. Thank go on, you, go I appreciate it. Look, go on, go on, go on. so a real distinction is what you're describing a distinction between two concrete particulars such that one is not a part of the other. So, for example, me and this guy. I agree with that. Right, right. That's what I said. But then you have you're real. Not him and he's not you. Right, but that's, that's, what, that's, a part, of a, just, that's, that's part of a real distinction. But there's other distinctions, for example, real nominal distinctions. So, you have nominal distinctions which are distinctions between two distinct concepts in the mind. There is a real distinction between those two things, although the reality of it exists in the mind. You said God, you didn't say, but you're going to conclude that God is a real concrete particular. Uh, no, I'm not going to. Uh, because a, not, a, a concrete existence, a not, concrete thing not, is something that exists outside the of the mind. Not in the same. Okay, but look. In order to say that something concrete exists outside the mind, you've got to firstly. You firstly have to say that there is a mind that exists like an overarching idea. In not order not to say really. That, in well, order to do, because look, not really. If God is the greatest I, reality. I, I'm not sure. I'm not seeing how that entails. Well, just just well, walk, walk I'll, through I'll, that with I'll me. I'll try and explain how it entails. Yeah, absolutely. Maybe, maybe if I'm wrong, you can explain to me where I'm wrong. You're probably going to be right. So hopefully. No, I, don't, I, I don't know. We I mean, don't know. I mean, exactly. Let's, 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 let's see where it goes. Right? If, you allow yeah, me, yeah, yeah. if you allow me a few seconds to put my. Yeah, point go on, go on, go on. So look, if you're saying that a concrete thing exists apart from the mind, and God, God is a concrete particular, right? There has to be a mind other than God in order for him to exist apart from that. But there isn't because God is the greatest reality. Well, that's actually something that I would disagree with. So when you say that there needs to be a mind to conceive of the existence of this concrete particular... No, I've already given you that mind. The, no, no, no. You're, no, no, the mind you're or the saying, knowledge is God. You're saying so in God, order... You can't go beyond God. Wait, wait, hold on. Let me, just, let me just clarify this, right? So let's walk through this step by step. A concrete particular for you is something that exists outside of the mind. So, uh, could you actually like, clarify for us so that I make yeah, sure yeah, that I'm that's fine. Right, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Here's the thing though, you gave a criteria yeah. for something to be a concrete particular. That is that it has there has to be a mind that observes yeah. or that, is not or, or is cognizant of this concrete excellent, particular. Excellent, excellent. I disagree with that premise. You okay, can prove no, okay, that. That's fine, but let me just let me just add to that now. You so can't add to it, you've got to prove it first. No, no, well the greatest mind is God. So in other words, there is no existence that exists other than God. So therefore he does is then, the mind. Does there need will. to be a distinct I don't, I don't mind? Use, just to clarify, I don't use the word mind because that's not part of the Yeah, because this isn't because this is the mean this is the of God. But let's just for the sake of argumentation but carry on with the But that's but that's a new easy for you. So it's fine, but the greatest mind I don't really use mind, you can say internet, but the problem is is if you allow me to finish, right? It's fine, but you haven't proved in the statement though, that's have, the problem. Well, no, I don't need to. Do you have, I, I, of course you do, I've unless you, you're assuming given, it under your I've schema. I've given you the a, a, a priori understanding that God is the greatest being. In other words, yeah. there is the eternal being, there is nothing other than Him. Yeah. Everything comes from Him. But so how does that prove? Mind. So how does that prove? No, no. So how does that prove that a mind so, needs to exist? 
for the concrete particular to exist. That's not a proof no. for that argument. Concrete. You need to prove that premise. Yeah, yeah, no, no. yeah, so do it. Okay, I'm trying to. Absolutely. So the concrete particular is yeah. something that exists. It is a contingent thing. Okay. God is not a contingent thing, is he? Okay, so then you can just reduce concrete particulars yeah, to just contingent things. Now, usually no. in, in philosophy, no, no, when no, we no, say... No, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. Well, contingent things okay. don't... don't yeah, you're saying you're, you're, you're saying contingent, contingent things, things are concrete. Just let me finish. You're saying that contingent things are concrete. In order for something to be concrete, it has to be contingent. You cannot have a concrete thing without it being contingent. That's what you're saying. Now, here's the problem. You haven't given a reason outside of an ad hoc definition, which we can just run with. But I don't need to do that. I'm talking about the real existence of attributes. I think I already have. I've, I've told you that there is an eternal being. Yeah, like you're, 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 you're just being mind. you're being dogmatic. You're not actually proving the point. A okay, okay, but do that's you not a priori. It's not. Do you believe, do you believe the God greatest God being is a priori? Is a priori? I don't use perfect being theology. Sorry? I don't use perfect being theology. Oh, so now you conveniently use a particular theology to the circumvent. It seems, like, it seems like this which, which theology did I use? You just said that. I said, said I don't. I said I don't. That's what I'm saying. You, so you which one do I use? I'm saying you use a particular set of theology or philosophy to circumvent when you see a problem. Okay, so which one do I use? Which one should you not use? No, which one do which I use? use? Which okay. one do I use? Okay. Which one should we use both together? What? You're just switching the question onto no, me no, now. No, 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 no. So which I'm, one do I no, use? No. Which one should we both Answer the question. Both which one do I use? Which one should both Which one do I use? Very confusing. Right, okay. which one do I use? Okay. I know it's confusing, okay. but he's making claims that you can't prove. Can I ask a question which might undercut the uh, confusion here? Maybe. Maybe, possibly, right? Possibly, right. What's your, concept, what's your conception of God? What's your conception of God? That's just shifting the claim That's just shifting the claim back to me. No, so we're no, talking no, no, about we're talking about my concrete friend, friend, existences. I'm, I'm trying to just cut, undercut everything. Yeah, yeah you're Correct undercutting everything. Wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah which wrong. I am. So okay, go what's going on is you are trying to shift the claim onto me to talk about my conception of God. No, because I'm confused. When the conversation is talking about your conception of God. Yeah, I've right. given you my conception of right. God. Right, your there conception great, of God. There is an eternal being. Great. Everything is contingent upon God. That's fine. Including concrete particulars as well as abstract. Now, now this is the important part now, no, right? Wait, wait, wait. Can, I, can I finish my concept? Yeah, it's fine. I'm going to come to that yeah, point though. You mentioned that an abstract. You, you mentioned that a concrete can't exist apart from a mind, and you said if God is a concrete particular, there has to be a mind. Wait, wait I said. Wait, I said what? Sorry, if just. God is a concrete particular. He said this. Did no, no. Say that I'm God, saying that that's you, what God, you're saying. And hence the reason I'm using a conditional statement that you said that if God no, is a no. concrete particular, you said to me, yeah. God can only be a concrete particular if there is a mind from which he is, from which he is perceived from perceived or, from. or right. instantiated Your from. argument is that God is that divine mind, so there's no problem. That's what you're saying. Yeah, exactly. But, but here's the issue. Like, yeah. That's not proving that anything that needs to exist needs a mind to conceive of it. That's the proposition. So, so just to break it down even more, your statement mm. that God is the divine mind mm. and thus he does not need other minds to conceive of him presupposes that in order for something to exist, the condition for an existence is that there is a mind that perceives of it. Yeah, but that, that would only be true of universalism. I am universalism. A, I'm a hardcore nominalist. So I don't oh, you're a believe. Yes, I'm a complete nominalist. That's fine. So I don't believe. But universalism wouldn't even if, say if, that. If, if you allow me to finish. Right? Yeah, go on, go on. I don't believe that the mind exists apart from God. Do you understand that? So that the so mind isn't mind, really distinct from God in any sense. Is, look, the mind is an attribute. The mind is, like I said before, it is what we would use in Islam is knowledge of God. Let, let's say, so okay, an let's, of I think we get. Okay, so you're getting hung up on so the God, on what it means to be no, concrete, which is why I, I, I asked the question. Up on this because I, 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 and I know, and I know, and I know, but you're using. So that but, you but when I you move on. But when people what use the term, is, I know, so that you don't misrepresent us. I haven't misrepresented you. So when it comes to exactly, I haven't. So you might do. Exactly, I might, but as of now, I have not. No, but I think so, you already have, because you said You that, just said that I, I might do it in the future, whatever. You said that yeah. God exists as a concrete particular. The only way it can exist as a concrete particular is if there is a mind that exists. And that's what I'm saying. You need God. to prove that definition. Saying, that's the point. Finish, my friend. Yeah, go on. So I said to you that that argument is invalid because God is the mind, and there is no mind other than God. No, the you are, said, you said, in order for God to be a mind, you have yeah. to firstly concede that a mind exists apart from that. That's only if, you, that's, that's only if there said, is a premise that follows that, which is what you said. God, the mind is the knowledge of God. Okay, so, so God is 
essentially the mind and the mind Look, is God. Okay, so your predicate nominalism is leading you to accept a definition that you are not proving. No, no, you are no, taking no, a no, definition no, that no. in order for a concrete thing to exist, sig, 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 that it needs sig, to be sig, conceived sig, by sig, mind. Sig, sig. Wait, hold on, hold on. Can if you a, prove a, yeah. that in order for me, for example, if there, is, yeah, a channel, yeah. is there a possible, hold on, is there a possible world? I'll try world? and prove it, I'll try and prove it. I'm just, just, just going to ask. Every po in every possible world, yeah. there is a being that exists eternally. That being we name, we call Allah. Yeah. Yeah. Right. That being is eternal. In other words, it is never, it has never had a beginning. It is, it will never have an end. That's fine. So therefore, I think it's reasonable to say that this concept is a priori, meaning it's intuitively known. No, the you concept of what? Concept. No, the concept of a being that has no beginning and no end. That's it not what we're talking existing. about. We are talking so about the definition existed, of concrete things existing. That's why you need to clarify a definition. So let's let's look at the actual I argument that you're making. Not, I think I've, I think you, I've, no, I've, no, I've clarified no, 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 okay. Six, six, six. If I asked him what your definition was, he wouldn't understand. I so know, I, I, know, I know, I know, because he's supporting, it's fine. Ask me. I know, ask me. which is why I'm doing. So, okay. like when it comes to, when it comes to are you abstract are and you concrete are you existences. Are you trying to second guess what I'm going to say, or what I said before? I haven't second guessed anything yet. So, like I can say, as I can say. What are you doing at the moment? Explaining something. What, what are you explaining exactly? The fact that you haven't you, proven a certain definition or a certain implication. Okay, and I'm hoping you're going to go back to... One second. Um, let's prove, identify your proving definition. certain definitions. What? Since when you start proving definitions? Pardon? No, I said an implication. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, six, six, right, look, it's cool. six, so, six, six, six. Look, I'm hoping you're going to do this by going back to what I've said to you. Said About to you concrete from, uh, existences. Ex concrete existences in relation to God's knowledge and God existing as an eternal being. I, right, want, right, to show, right. I want you to show me the flaw in logic I'm, yeah. that if concrete particulars cannot exist apart from God's knowledge and God's knowledge is eternal. No, no, that, no you're saying without you're, a please, mind please in general. Let me go on, go on. No, not mind in general. I'm, yeah. I already told you that the mind in general is God's knowledge. Right, right. That so, is the generality here. Wait, sorry. Generality, you're just talking about that in all cases. That doesn't mean that like... God's knowledge speaking. is a synonym for God's mind if it makes things easy for you. That, that's not going to help. Seriously. Well, well, I need and to, the reason it's not going to help is because... Six, six, if, I, if I may finish, no, no, please. No, no. I haven't, I haven't really, really clarified... You're, you're, you're asking I haven't, me to clarify, I haven't, I haven't clarify something and I'm going to have to do it. But Otherwise, no, I haven't asked you, know. you to clarify something. I want you to clarify exactly what I'm going to say to you next. So you want me just to repeat back to you? I want you to tell me how it is that you're asking me for evidence for something I'm going to tell you what I'm actually you telling you. I'm going to tell you what I'm actually telling you. I've asked, I What's said, a priori said, said, said. is that God, by definition, can be eternal. No one's disagreeing there. But the point that I'm making is that when you use the term concrete, when you're using the term concrete existence, hold on, hold on. I'm going to finish the statement that I'm saying. Okay. So when it comes to... Yes, because it's identical to God. Thank you very much. Yes, because it's identical to God. So now I'm going to statement. I'm going to finish now. So when it comes to existences themselves... Right, thank you. So when it comes to concrete existences, right? I haven't seen any school of thought, even in predicate nominalism, that uses... Knowledge of absence is not absence of my friend. Just because you haven't seen it doesn't mean it doesn't exist. No, 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 no. I never said that. I never said that. I never said that. I never said that. I never made that point. Hold on, hold on. I never made that point. I'm saying something very specific. I'm asking you to bring forward a thinker that defines concrete and abstract in such a way. Ibn Taymiyyah. Okay, so Ibn Taymiyyah is the person that uses it. That's fine. If you go to a book by Anja, because this is. If you go to a certain number of books, that's fine. I've accepted that you believe. Yeah, you're saying you're saying that Ibn Taymiyyah claims this. Now, if I may continue, because you've given the definition now. Now, you are using Ibn Taymiyyah's understanding of concrete objects, right? When I'm using the term concrete, I'm just talking about real existences. I'm not talking about specifically that real existence that I'm read by. Mind. Because that's a that, because that's a yeah so because that's a Neoplatonic you? argument. That's a Neoplatonic argument. So when it, no, no, it's a Neoplatonic argument. The Neoplatonists said the same thing when it comes to knowledge. That truth and knowledge, not just knowledge, but, but specifically but things, that to, exists, yeah, but, that so, things that exist. That things that exist. Okay, fine. Do, hold on, if I may finish. That things that exist have a permanent mind. Now, that's great. But but yeah, yeah. The conversation is this: that the attributes that you believe in really do exist, and these real existences are not the same as the existence of Allah. They're not identical in existence. You believe this. They're not, I, they're not different. Let's, what, what, let's, what? let's clarify one second. Yeah, do that there is do, a lack of identity do, between Allah and do Allah's you, knowledge. Do you do just as a, as a, as a way of comparison? Of in your concept you go. of God, that, does he have attributes? Just, by lack of identity? Um, by lack of identity, I'm using it a negation of the law of identity. So, where we have A equals, or for all of A, A equals A. Oh, I'm not going to go there. Then I'm you not have. Go there. Let's just keep things no, nice. No, no, we, we need to go there. Let's, let's keep things we, nice. We're, we're going, going there. there. We're, we're going, going there. there. So, so, so then let's go. I'm going to say so that are simple, 
so that people can benefit. Because okay, you know and, and I think there are many people. people are stupid. People recognize that when a person no, says No, I think you, people are more capable beyond measure. But I'm gonna finish. So really, when you, do you say you think that people in general will be able to understand the jargon that you come up with. What for all of this thing? This thing is identical to this thing. That's not hard. Really? A equals A yeah. is not a hard concept okay, so, so until can we, you talk about opaque context. But if I may this, please finish. Can we apply this now to the identities of God's knowledge? Yeah. And its relationship to God. Can you just yeah. at least do me that favor? So yeah. yeah. So so it, it of course right. That's what I was trying to get to. But I need to clarify how identity works. As Mansour and I don't know where the other white guy went, but it's fine. Um, so when it comes to identity, you have this thing. Let's talk, let's call it P. Okay. P, which is Allah, because we don't really care about like the letters here. Yeah, P, P is Allah. Right? Let P resemble Allah. Let yeah. P be Allah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, not, not in a blasphemous sense. I don't really no, care. It's, okay. it's fine. Can, so let P resemble Allah. Allah, right? Now, let Q represent Allah's knowledge. Now, what you're saying is P if and only if Q, or rather, in mathematical terms, P is Q. That's what you're saying. P is Q. Okay. P is okay. Q. Yep, yep, yep. Now, under identity, every single thing that P has, Q would have it also. As you would say? No, because... Uh, God Under is, a classical identity? No, because God is more expansive than just merely his knowledge. Okay, that, that's important. Right, so, so then so they're not identical. That's the point. Okay, when you say identical... I just clarified it in right, the past say, five minutes. When we say God's knowledge is... Sorry, give, give me a second. Sorry, like I, I have like these pins and needles in like, Dude, my like, left foot. I, I was suffering from a cramp, so, so you're not the only one. Brother, if we had a chair or something... Like, <laughs> honestly, man. It's okay though, continue. I'm, I'm listening to everything, just okay, ignore so the leg kicking. I get cramps because I play football and basketball at the same time, bro. Is it? Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Chop up the down a little bit. I still cross them up though. Do you? Yay! That's right, that's right. Don't go crazy kicking and fix your ankle here, let me tell you. That's sick Diana Ronaldo right there. Okay, so. Sue. But, anyways, yeah, as you were saying. So, identity. So, we're talking about God's knowledge. So, God has um, attributes. Your, your claim is, let, let's clarify what you're trying to say. Yeah, so God's, God has attributes. Cool. 99 attributes that we know of. 99? And there's, and there's more than that. Maybe. Some of which we don't know, God hasn't informed us of. And I'm saying that these are so metaphysical these, parts. So these attributes are, if you will, descriptions. Let's just, let's just make things simple. They're descriptions of God. Okay. Knowledge is not the same as wisdom. But all of these... Oh, I get, I get the analogy that you're trying to give. By, by the way, I know all of this uh, before, I know. But I, but I get what you're trying to say. Okay, so, so how would you translate, uh, translate that over into your jargon? Yeah, right, right. Just so that we have a... Brother, take care, brother. God bless sorry, you, Sorry to interrupt, sorry to interrupt. Man. Sorry, man. Take care. We'll catch you, though. So, so my jargon, right, um, I'm just going to try to break this as down as much as I can. You're saying that you're these attributes... Us, you're educating us here. here nah, well, not really, not really. Because you already know this. Um, so when it comes to attributes, you are saying that these attributes are merely just descriptions. Obviously, in a certain um, field of philosophy known as semantics or semiotics, you will have a statement that will point to a certain sign. So, for example, what's your name? Hamza. Hamza. So, the term Hamza is a description of Hamza, as you will say. But that actually signifies something in reality, namely Hamza. Now, when I say the term knowledge, right, that term will also be a description. But that description signifies something in reality, namely Allah's knowledge. Yep. Right, right. So Allah's, Allah's knowledge does actually exist. That's the claim. Now, Allah's knowledge, as you agree to, would not be identical to Allah. Yeah, exactly. Right. It can't be. Exactly. It can't be. Now, that's the problem that I have. Because then the existence. What is the problem? Yeah, the existence. The, the, there's even there's two implications. Either the existence of knowledge, right, as a really distinct thing. And by really distinct, we mean it's not in the sense of a separation. We're not going to argue for separation. People like Ibn Taymiyyah say that um, the attributes are not Allah, but they're not other than Allah. So yep. what he means by that is, uh, and this, this is my reading, right? What? You know your stuff, go on. Kind of. So when it comes to, maybe, sort of. So when it comes to the attributes, my reading would say, not even my reading, but certain readings that people like Ibn Taymiyyah, because like much, much later, um, he would say that what he, what Ibn Taymiyyah means by that is that the attributes aren't separate in the way that these two things are separate, right? However, they wouldn't be identical to Allah as apologia is identical to base Thomist. So what that would mean is that they would fall under the definition of metaphysical parts because they aren't the whole of the subject of Allah as he would agree with. Therefore, they are metaphysically parts of Allah, which is what he said to That's Mansour what before. I said to Mansour before, God, be God has composition. Yeah, and that gets into the definition of a part. So, just to, I'll give my definition of a part and then you can. So, for you first, when you say the term part, what do you mean? 
I don't say these are parts of God. No, 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 no. I'm saying the definition, definition of part. You know how you part. said like the definition of one? Definition of part. A part? Yeah. You can say individual components that makes up a whole. Mm, exactly, exactly. Now, what I would say, because I'm, I'm an idiot, I'm, I'm very dumb, when it comes to... Do you really mean that? Genuinely, yes. Okay, this is humble. So when it <laughs> stop. So okay, okay. Yeah, so when it comes to parts, my definition would follow under what most muriologists would say, and that would be something about the subject that is not the whole of the subject. So anything that is predicated of a subject that isn't the whole of the subject in a classical sense, as you would have agreed to, the attributes would fall under this definition. Not in a physical sense, yep. not in a temporal sense, yep. and definitely not in a spatial sense. But Hopefully not. But in a sense. metaphysical <laughs> sense. And thus my argument that Allah has metaphysical parts would stand. So if that's the case, then the implication of anything that is composite in any way would be metaphysically finite. And of course, you would argue that Allah is metaphysically how, infinite. How is a composite? Right. How is a composite? Because he has things because, in him which because, are less than the whole. Yeah, because them. a composite is just simply something that has parts. So would, would it? Would it? In any sense. So, so if I were to clarify, if I were just to clarify further, would it be fascinating to you if I were to tell you, and you may even know this, given that you probably, you, it seems like you've read Ibn Taymiyyah and you've read a little bit about Ibn Taymiyyah as well. Probably not. But if I were to say to you that. God's knowledge is of two types. It is there is the knowledge that is a genus, i.e. Yeah, knowledge that you're using like the scholastic term, right? So knowledge that is something that's contained in a genus of knowledge. Exactly. And then you so have like particularization. Is, exactly. So exactly. Yeah. Particularization of God's knowledge, which is temporal. So in other words, God knows certain. And then you have knowledge as a genus, which is a temporal. Genus, By the way, exactly. that, that form of that view of knowledge, that theory of knowledge, is actually a big problem. But, yeah, um, but we can get into that later. No, but it's not a temporal in the sense that it is timeless. Yeah, that that one, right? Yeah. But but a temporal just means something that isn't subject to time. As you would agree. Well, a temporal, yeah, right? Yeah, but it could be omnitemporal, which we need omnitemporal. To make, we need to make a distinction because some people say that if something if something exists outside of time, yeah, it can either be timeless or it can be omnitemporal, meaning that it can be like a type of amorphous type of time. It can't be subdivided. Well, I would say so that if something we would, we would say that this isn't the case with the genus of time. The That's fine. Of, but again, like the definition when you talk about like temporality, just so that we can catch you up, when it comes to um, like temporality or omnitemporality, he's trying to say that there are things that are outside of time and so they just don't have any bearing or relation to time. Yeah, they're not, they're and not then, measured in time. Like in their time, but they're not measured, they're not measured by changes. And then, exactly. But again, the clock is just like a measurement of change, right? You would agree. But then you have certain things that we would say kind of encompasses all of time. Now, I would say that that wouldn't be applicable to God. Again, he might say that. We haven't seen his position on that yet. You can have your own thoughts and reservations about that. Can we, can we have your position at some point about what your, who God, My, who God is for you, whether he has a name, and what his, how his Hopefully, when we agree his, on metaphysical composition, then yeah. So when it comes to... Why can't you just be clear? Come on. Because my position is irrelevant. Look, it's going to be relevant because at least it allow us to have some type of common ground here that you guys believe in a God that has this kind of understanding. You've got a general idea of what our understanding of God is. Yeah, and I'm saying that there are problems with that. So even if That's my position fine. would... Just, that just to put one thing in there. Yeah, go on. We as Muslims do not say, the attribute of God say, for example, his knowledge. His knowledge somehow speaks to his speech or speaks to his vision or speaks to his creative acts and so on. The, the speech the would speak to it. The attributes joke, themselves do not have own personality. <laughs> we're not do we believe the attributes we're not of Allah? We're, we're no, no, no. Not arguing do we believe the attributes of Allah? They have conversation between themselves. Of course not. No they're one's not, believing. No one's not arguing. No one's arguing persons. that. Right. In Christianity, when we compare God, right. So wait, wait, what you're wait, doing wait. is a wait. what about this? Wait, wait, wait. Are they Christians? Wait. I haven't even figured that out. They're Christians. The past yeah. They're so you're doing, Christians. You're, you're doing a what about? One second. One second. One second. I don't have to answer the what about ism. That's the point. Say, you're just clarifying you're your position. Too so quote you're quote yeah. If you're doing you're something illogical, then yes. You're interrupting. I think even he would agree this is a what about? Say, say, you're interrupting. But you accept that it's a what about ism, right? You're interrupting. It is a what about ism. He's saying what you guys also in Christianity. Yes. What, I'm, what, what I'm saying, you didn't even listen to it. It's just a two quote It's just a two quote It's not two quote fallacy. Yes, it is. Two quote yeah. Do you know what I was going to say? Go ahead. What so, I was going to say? Yeah, you're probably going to speak about Trinitarianism. No, what I was going to say? Something about Trinitarianism, which would be no, a tell me exactly what I was going to say. I don't need to. The point is that you're going to say something else. You don't know what I'm going to say. You accused him of a two-quote. What I was going to say. And you're not even willing to question Yeah, so in order for me to satisfy that claim. What I was I going to say? I'm going to explain to him something. Yeah, so I'm saying to you now, in order for me to satisfy the claim that you're making a two-quote way, I need to show you that you are saying something about my belief, but you also, which is what you did. What I was going to say? Something about my belief. Such what? 
Trinitarianism. No, about what? You were going to say that the, the persons in Trinitarianism talk to each that's other. That's a good point. Fallacy is like, so it's, it's a form of what aboutism when you say, but you also, it's specifically like directed to me, yeah. no, which you're doing. Give me exactly what I was going to say, to make it into a two I don't, no, 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 that's not what the criteria is for a two way. I don't need to say exactly, I just need oh, to okay. give so, the actual so basically, so basically, without hearing what I have to say, you assume I'm, I'm, I'm Actually, committing this fallacy. what you're going to say will probably prove it. Uh, what I was going to say? No, I'm saying what you were going to say no, will no, probably no. prove it. You accused oh, me no. of So you can say it. So, no. so say the statement wait, and then wait, it will prove say, my point. You accuse, first of all, with an assumption that I'm going to commit a two fallacy, right? A yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Tukukwe. And what I was going to say? Yeah. No, I'm telling you. Right, right, right. In order for the Tukukwe to be satisfied, you need to say anything generally about my belief. Anything. Any, anything. Yes, about my belief. Because so you're saying, but you, you believe this. So if I say you believe in a loving God, it's a two-core fallacy, yeah? Yeah, in regard to the conversation, yes. It's like saying you Seriously. also believe in X. Seriously, fine. No, good, good, good. It sounds um, it's, it's you can search it as well, I'm and absurd. I think you know anyway, that. Anyway, anyway. What, 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 what I was going to say is this. What I was going to say is this. Yeah, go on. We don't believe yeah. the attributes of our creator God. They somehow are individual persons. No one believes. We didn't other. argue for that. Listen. Let him finish. Okay, Listen. finish. You believe within God, correct me if I'm wrong, this is the giving you opportunity, that you believe in God, there are these persons. And these persons are what? The Logos of God. One of the most called the Logos of God. Right? The Logos of God is not God himself. Yeah. Correct me. Is the Logos of God God himself or is it distinct from God? Well, I've got enough information now. It's not quite way. Wait, wait, wait. Is the Logos of... Okay, establish that. Is the logos I, of God? Yeah, so the establishment would be that you is say the logos of God you don't God believe himself? that they are persons, but you believe that there are persons. The logos of God, mm -hmm. and you were going to say the Father, and then you're going to refer to the Spirit. No. You were not going to refer no, to the Holy Spirit in so any it, sense. It, at this all. is just no. a two quick question. I was saying, from saying, the that's point why that I sometimes you need to listen. You were going to say I was that going you're to going say to say, to say you, the three persons. Is the logos of God God himself? That's not the conversation at hand. That's my question to you. Yeah, which is part of a two quick way. You're moving the conversation away. If the moving logos the of God away from composition is the logos of God is not I don't I don't have to answer the question. We were talking it's about the metaphysical composition of Allah. We weren't talking yeah, yeah, about yeah. Yeah. Not, on my position, not on my position. Not on my position. In your position. I don't have to. Okay. Because that's not, not what we're debating. Okay. I'm doing an I, internal I, critique. I'm trying to I'm trying to show you the difference. Okay, we the have difference, a difference. Okay, so again, no, I'm going to show you the we difference. We definitely have a difference, but I don't have to establish let, that let, let, because let. we've already assumed it in conversation. I'm going to, I'm going to but I've also from not you said that there are persons either. Listen. I never assumed the attributes of persons. Ibn Taymiyyah never assumes the attributes of persons. But what he does say is that they're metaphysical parts, Sick. which is why you complain about composition. We never said that. And that's why he's not Sick. saying anything. Said that in your so belief, we can get back to the conversation. In your, in your belief, yeah, my belief, which is a two quote quay. In your belief. Yes, we're not talking about my belief, we're talking about yours. Right, you are. By committing a fallacy. Quite, quite you're admitting you're committing a fallacy. Let me so you're making first. A I'm not going to let you argument. finish your fallacy. No. How do you know I'm committing a fallacy? Without because you've just referred to Trinitarianism. Quite, quite you said Sig. the attributes are a person, no, but a, you believe Sig. that the attributes are. Sig. As you can see, it's a conversation here or something. Because what? it seems like you're. Can I finish? Yeah, God, yes. Not, yeah, because he asked us about identity and the Trinity. Because we will finish one critique and then we can move on to another. I think we've already finished. I don't think so. I don't think we have. So, okay, so. I can't stand here talking to you all day. Sorry, then. So, I think there should be at least a reasonable amount of. Give and take. We're we don't agree that we finished the first part of the dialogue. Well, I think I have. I think I've. You given think it, I, exactly. I, think I don't. I've, that's fine. That's that's your opinion. So then you arrive and at I'm, an impasse, and we can't continue. Well, I don't think we can because and that's I've already, fine. I've already given you a, a definition of God, which I think pretty much. Um, and also entails, you know, metaphysical composition. No, I don't think it does. So how does it not entail it? But we're not going to go there. You're not going to go to how I it doesn't I've, entail it. I think I've already given you about. enough. To satisfy the argument that we have in the beginning. No, the that argument that we, the, the argument that he was making, apart from the, the, the argument that he was making actually from the entire know, beginning that that was that me, attributes that existed. That's precisely the argument that no, we started off precisely with, the argument that I've he was talking answered. about. The argument that we were always talking about is that Allah is metaphysically composite. That's always what we've been talking about. Allah is metaphysically composite. Allah is metaphysically composite. That was the composition the entire time. Anyone can go back to the very first time he said anything at all, and he will say, I'm "My argument about metaphysical well, composition of Allah." There you go. I, wasn't here. I, I know you weren't here on. exactly, and so therefore, the, and he so can tell you the exact same thing. You, so in fact, so ask so him. Therefore, the fact that I came in far later. I established an argument for myself, which was the beginning of the conversation between you and I. The argument, the I argument. I cannot speak of him because I wasn't here. No, no, no. I grant. Listen, listen. I what I did in the conversation either. is that Do I grant. Do you agree with that, Sig? 
Yeah, you can't speak on what they're saying. But however, so therefore, the however, conversation that I came in on was an argument that I brought forth to you guys. Which would be implied by went, what they're saying. And, and that's matter, the problem. That's not my so problem. when it comes, yeah, but it Whether is because you're engaging not, in the conversation. I can now go so back when and start you are specifically on his talking, that's fine. Nor can I speak on so his when you're specifically here, talking about abstracta and concreta, I said that I granted it for you because you just assumed Ibn Taymiyyah's nominalism. You didn't prove the nominalism, I, you assumed I, it. Well, I think I already did, and I'll repeat it one what more time. What is the proof for it? If, if I, just, if yeah, I can repeat it for the umpteenth time, and this it's is not the last umpteenth time, time it's, it's it, not a proof. And this, the, and this is the last thing I'm going to say, and I don't right. think you've answered it. Okay. You said that abstracts cannot exist apart from the mind. That's not what I said. I said that that's your Sig, position. The conversation is on Absolutely. camera. Absolutely. I, I didn't say that. You need to go. You know what? I think yeah. we'll leave it to the knowledgeable crowd at home to decide whether you've answered the question that I, I put to you or... Okay, yeah. no worries. Yeah, the you've question on whether you believe that a lie is metaphysically okay. composite. That's okay, can, we, can we just clear up what we were saying at the start for the crowd? That a lie is what metaphysically composite. What we were just composite. saying is apart... First what we're just saying. Let him just oh, finish. Hold, hold on, let me, let me just finish, bro. What we were saying at the start is a part is just something which is less oh, than the whole, whole of a thing. This can be metaphysical. I need temporal, to. I need to spit. Spatial. Sorry. I need to spit. Hold on. Then they are less than the whole of Allah. They're not identical to the whole of Allah. The conclusion of those premises is that Allah's attributes are parts of Allah. And then we can go into talking about the entailments of composition within God. And if you have a problem with that, just address the three premises. Yeah, it doesn't follow. Because if but, but bear in mind, he did say that they cannot be identical. They can't be identical. Right, right. Be exactly. Identical. So the argument they, if is they, true. How can knowledge be identical to... Oh, okay, so you agree with premise two that Allah's attributes are oh, really distinct. distinct. Right, that's okay. the point. So, prim, so, so premise... Whether they're distinct or not? They are. So, you, yeah, okay. so they're, they're distinct, right? That's what you're arguing. So therefore they're not identical. Yeah. Okay. So what's the problem? Pre the problem is that if that is accepted, then there is a certain entailment of your view. Yeah. And what is that entailment? That they are metaphysical parts. And what is the problem in that? That, that would mean that Allah is metaphysically composite. No, but, yeah. okay. but these things do not exist as concrete particulars, so therefore God can't be composite. He is a singular being and these are descriptions. Do you understand the difference between descriptions and concrete things? But those you descriptions actually exist. No, Just saying exist. it dogmatically doesn't friend, mean friend, that it exist. actually works. They, they exist in what way? They don't exist apart from God such that God becomes composite. Okay, or they in don't order for exist, something to be composite. They don't exist yeah, in a way where they are somehow a second divine being such that God is now composite. Okay, I'm unless not arguing. Can, never said yeah, unless you can, being. no, but the, we'll just the, establish the it is fine because he's assuming nominalism. He's assuming In order for you to say that God is composite, you have to firstly establish that the attributes themselves are divine apart from God or in relation to God. No, we would just have no. to establish that they are not the whole of the subject. Yeah, we just have to no. establish they're that, not the whole of the subject. And that does not entail that God is composite. Okay, yes, what is a composite? What what a part is. Is. So, so a part is something something of the subject that isn't the whole of the subject. But it's a description. Now again, that's, yeah, but the description that's, signifies that's the something obvious. in, rea in yeah. reality yeah, yeah, yeah. that isn't the whole of the yeah, subject. So the right. description no, is not something so instance, individual existence. The description is describing yeah, something. Yeah, but the distinction yes. is not Yeah, I understand. What is the thing describing? What is it describing? Describing the essence of God. Okay, so when you say knowledge, you're just describing the essence. Yeah, in a descriptive sense, it is, it is nothing more than a descriptive abstract in a, in a descriptive abstract sense. Okay, so, so, so there is... So instance, when I say knowledge has... Uh, uh, Mansur has knowledge. Yeah. When I say Mansur has knowledge, I'm not talking about Mansur and knowledge such that <laughs> Mansur is a composite part. No one's got no sane individual is going to come on, come along and say. Yeah, but every Mansour's single knowledge is a part of Mansour. Mansour Actually, I would argue the I would, I would argue in the opposite. You're, you're, you're misunderstanding the point. We're saying that Mansour is composite because he has knowledge. Now, exactly. this is the point. When I refer to Mansour, Mansour has. Mansour, hold on, you, if, if I may finish. Can I see when I say knowledge? that Mansour. Okay, you've been hiding this for a long time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to see your knowledge um, right now. But yeah. no one's asking you to see it. A part doesn't have to be seen. We've already yeah, established that. A part that. doesn't have to and be so physical. And so therefore, your definition of composite is something that I would, physical I would, and most people would disagree with. They no, would actually, every muriologist would just agree with Which what a part is. Muriologist, Muri muriologist like who? Yeah, you can look at like the uh, the individual that I think was it Noonan that wrote the SCP entry for this year. You, you, you need to it, consult bro. with him. No, 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 no. no. I'm saying no, no, <laughs> no, no. I'm, I'm trying to make sure that I cite the individual correctly, but it's in the SCP entry for what a part is. Okay, I'll, I'll be sure to go home and check that. Absolutely. Out. Thank you very much. So, so a part. Say, thank you very much for yep. your time, my friend. Take care, bro. Thank you. Honestly, thank your you. bid is absolutely amazing. Unfortunately, sometimes people 
they're overwhelmed by their by, the, by their by their by their own selves. You know. What well, I, mean? I guess I'm humble and I'm overwhelmed at the same time. Then no worries, mate. As, <laughs> as long as you're humble, as long as you have that attribute of humility and that you're not a composite being such that humility exists apart from yourself. Absolutely, it is Take part of me though, and you know that. Take that, care though. That is a part of him, bro. That is a part, man. Oh, don't leave him hanging. Don't leave there him hanging, go. bro. So, man, so, as we were saying, right? Coming, yeah? I'm coming, yeah? I just want to see this knowledge for you. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. Summarizing, yeah, sorry, summarizing. So, as we were saying, no, no, no. right, when it comes I'm to... I'm speaking, I'm speaking. Well, hold on, hold on. I, I, was, I was literally I, saying I'm something speaking. back to you, I'm right? speaking. I, I know you're speaking, but that just means that okay. I was... See you later. You, you want to leave? Because I was speaking and you're not allowing me to No, speak. I was actually speaking when you were dapping him up and no, I was going to clarify no, no. something. Uh, so I was speaking. I, w I wasn't done. I was still speaking. Um, yeah, exactly. Done with who? Not with you. But you I'm not done with you. You were speaking to him, but I was I wasn't speaking to him. Question. You were dapping him up and I was speaking Maybe I to, to you. I speak to you because you're not easy to speak to. I know, and, and that's you know why? a shame. Do you know why? That Do you know why? Should I tell you why? Because you don't because like you speaking don't allow to people to speak. So, right, right. Yeah. I allow Bad many boy. people okay. to speak, Thomas, right? Thomas, But that just Thomas. means that you're basically complaining about the issue. Do you, do you issue. believe that the logos of God Hold on, he's God trying to run is, away from metaphysical competition. This is just a two quote quay fallacy. Excuse me, I'm so asking you again, again. So what he's doing is he's okay, trying to say, you oh, have this you problem in your hey, tradition. Hey, Dao Wise, go follow it's me on Twitch. It's not actually solving the problem. S-I-I-G-10, follow me on Twitch. Don't subscribe to any of these people who don't want to have a conversation. Uh, you know what? <laughs> hey, Dawais, don't go away. When you're ready to have a conversation, make sure you bro, post this. We just had a conversation. We just posted as well. You can just leave out the two quote quays. Yeah, just leave out the two quote quays. Just leave out the two quote quays, and we're we actually bro. doing so well. In fact, you're doing well. 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 It's alright, man. You can keep on worshiping three gods, no problem. And you can keep on worshiping ninety nine. You can keep on worshiping a composite god. You worship real, uncreated, real distinct exactly. Your god has parts. You believe in a metaphysically composite being. You believe, yeah, and you haven't contested that. You don't know Mariology. Let's just clarify for the cameras. Right. So Mansoor tried to tell us the logical problem of the Trinity. They failed on that. Sig introduced opaque context. They didn't even understand what that was. And then when I introduced the distinctions by St. Thomas Aquinas Amen. and how that reconciled the LPT, they had no answer to that. He then tried going into indexicals in the Trinity and, and he, he doesn't found, even know what knowledge means. He doesn't even know what knowledge means. If knowledge is propositional, does Allah know what it is to be a creature? No, no, the crazy thing yeah. is this though. He said, guys, he said that knowledge is awareness. Now this is the problem. If knowledge is awareness, then the awareness of Allah can change proportionate to the things he can be aware of. So wait, are you telling me Allah changes on Mansour's view? I, 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 I guess I am. Oh I, my, oh my days. days, I guess I am. Oh wow. Now, now here's the thing. In, even though we're being charlatans to the audience, right? We're just doing it to engage <laughs> you guys. But the point is this. The LPT is not an invincible issue, okay? Opaque context solved that. Most muriologists believe that metaphysical parts do exist. And as you can see, Mansour wasn't even able to keep up with the intellectual conversation. <laughs> so if there is ever a person that debates Mansour, yeah. just do me a favor, yeah. reference my name, Sig. Uh, Second of all, anytime you talk to this guy, just be composite. Repeat that, repeat that again, repeat that again. Just say that his God is it's metaphysically, metaphysically composite. composite. Um, That's it. That's all you have to say. That's it. And it's been your guy, Sig, it's been your guy, Thomas, Thomas. Yeah. as you can see, and we're out, you know what I'm trying to say, we out, see ya.